Hey guys, happy Thursday, Cinco de Mayo. It's May already. I'm a little freaked out because next month is June and that's like half the year. Like where did the time go, right? Pretty scary. But anyway, um, so I want to just go over some housekeeping things. It's the beginning of the month. is just the fifth. We have, what is that, like four, exactly four weeks left? Or something like that? Whatever. I don't know how to count. So um, I want to go over the May promotion. I'm going to mute everyone. Give me one sec. Except Al. There we go. <laughs> so um, the May promotions, everyone should know. I posted it on the team page. Um, they're on the other team pages as well. Um, so we have Insanity Max 30 Challenge Pack for 140 which is crazy. Um, we have Insanity Max 30 Kickstart, which is the program Shakeology plus the three-day refresh, and that's $180. Uh, we have Size Challenge Pack for $140, and then Size Kickstart, same thing with the three-day refresh for $180, which is also amazing. I believe that uh, they're doing this because Shanti um, had a birthday recently. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if you were on the national wake up call, you guys know that, um, there's a lot of prices, uh, associated with, um, with these challenge packs and, and for earning success club five and 10. Um, so make sure that if you weren't on the national wake up call, you listen in because you will hear all the goodies. Um, if you're going to summit, you will want to achieve success club. If you're not, you're still going to want to hit Success Club because it is definitely associated with personal development as well as um, working out live with Sean T. I mean, there's just a lot of perks um, for Achieving Success Club. And Achieving Success Club just means that you're growing your business, that you're earning commission, that you're pushing forward, right? That you're helping more people, that you're um, bringing more people into your team. So um, that's one thing. The other thing is, I want to shout out, which I don't think, I don't see them. I know that uh, Bernie uh, contacted me privately to let me know that she is actually celebrating with hubby tonight. She went out to dinner, but um, she's going to watch this recording. So I want to give her a huge congratulations for rank advancing her business to the rank of diamond in eight weeks, two months. I mean, that is amazing. You are a beast, girl. Um, we are so proud of you. You came in, you know, with a force and you said you wanted to help lives and that's exactly what you're doing. So everyone here, especially your mama, <laughs> is excited and everyone here is proud of you. So keep on pushing. I see one star right around the corner. So um, last week she had just advanced to Ruby. So you're, you're just wonderful. And I also want to uh, congratulate my niece who ranked advance um, her business to the rank of Emerald. I'm super proud of her. Um, I'm not going to say much because I might just start crying, but I'm just proud of you. I'm proud for everything you've accomplished so far. And I know that this is just the beginning to a very successful Beachbody career. So without further ado, I want to um, introduce Al. Um, before I introduce Al, Many of you guys know Al already, um, and you might recognize him from, actually, um, Max 30. That's on sale. Oh. oh. <laughs> He's one yeah. of the cast members, so how lucky are we, right, that we get to work out live with Al, we get to have him on a team call, we get to hang out with him at Super Saturdays. We're lucky. And um, if you were... Um, I think that this whole week has been dedicated to the leadership ladder. So I'm excited that Al is here with us um, to break it down because um, if you are familiar with the personality, uh, the person, the gems, say, uh, which are um, emeralds, rubies, I'm actually going to uh, bump it up in our, in our team page. If you haven't seen the class, I said you but personality wise, Al is an emerald and he's just uh, detail oriented. He is, okay, puppy. he is driven by numbers, and this presentation is going to be killer. Um, so on the National Wake Up Call, 
they discussed, Christina Delgado discussed the leadership ladder. So I urge you to listen to the replay if you didn't listen live. On a team legal call, we had Mickey and Saudi talk about the leadership ladder. Uh, so that was another amazing call. And, and it's funny because I had scheduled this call with Al back. So it kind of just all fell into place really, really nicely. Um, Al is Al Butta. <laughs> Look, I learned. Al yeah. <laughs> is uh, a Star Diamond coach on our team. Um, and he is, as I mentioned before, he is in, a cast member from Max 30, from Insanity Max 30. Um, wait, is that what it's called? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm horrible. <laughs> um, he is an Insanity instructor. He is freaking crazy. I've worked out with this man live twice already. And I always say that I'm not going back, but I am going back. He's amazing. He definitely makes you work out like crazy. Um, he expects he expects a lot from us, which is amazing. <laughs> I want to kill him every time I'm there, but hey, um, he's a coffee drinker. He is the um, he is the founder of Team Believe. Yes, mm -hmm. else. And you know, before I turn it over to you to talk about uh, the leadership ladder, can you just share a little bit about how you got involved with Beachbody? <laughs> Sure. Well, thank you so much uh, for the uh, wonderful introduction. And I think it's me who's the lucky one uh, to be here with you guys. Um, but thank you again for the, uh, for the introduction. And I got introduced to uh, Beachbody probably, I'm going to say, ah, wow, like maybe eight or nine, maybe 10 years ago now. It's been, it's been a long time. Um, I started with P90X. Um, and I was one of those guys who was sitting up late watching the infomercial. Um, I was never ridiculously overweight, but over the years I have lost about 20, 20 or 25 pounds. And, you know, I was, I was the gym rat. I went to the gym every day, but after a while I hit a plateau and I was really just looking for something more. I needed to kind of break through, um, uh, the results that I was getting cause I stopped getting results. And so, uh, I was up one night and I was watching TV and I saw, I saw the P90X infomercial and I started researching it for about two months before <clears throat> um, I actually bought it because I didn't think it was real. Like so many of us, you know, see the, the before and afters on TV and you're like, like, that's got to be fake. Like nobody can get those kind of results. And so I was that guy and I'm like, I researched it. I looked at YouTube and Google, uh, Google, and I couldn't find anything negative about the program. So I was like, you know what? Let me just give it a shot. I'll buy it. And if, you know, worst comes to worst. I will just send it back and get my money back. Um, so I got it and I did it. Like I wasn't one of these guys who like let it sit on the shelf. I actually did it, but that shit was hard. Like I, I was like, I started it and I quit like two weeks into it. I was like, F this man. Like I just couldn't do it. I couldn't finish it. And I did that. I took, I took about a week off and I'm like, you know what? I really got to get this thing done. Cause it was fun. It was exciting. It was really challenging, but it was, it was like just too hard for me to, to finish. So I went at it again and I made it, I think an extra week and I quit again. I was like, Oh, it was frustrating me, you know? So I think I quit two or three times before I finally just went all the way through. But after I did it, you know, the entire 90 days, uh, I've done the, the whole 90 days, maybe five times or six times now. So, you know, over the course of all these years, and I really do give that, put that program for me was the program that, that kind of got me the physique and the shape that I'm in today was mainly due to that program. Um, and I guess like, like they say, the rest is kind of like history, but I didn't become a coach until maybe three years ago, almost three years ago. So I didn't know about the, the opportunity. I didn't know about Shakeology. I just like to work out, you know, and people that work started asking me like, dude, what the heck are you doing? Cause I show up to work with a short sleeve shirt and I was really fit and I had lost a few pounds at that time. Um, and I was coaching people, you know, I let people borrow my DVDs and I'd help them out. And, you know, I was doing what we do now without knowing that that's what I was doing. So, you know, I was kind of like built for this, um, for this job, I guess. Um, but that's, that's like a, a quick 
short introduction to how I got started as as a, as a coach and into Beachbody, but it's just it's always been a part of my life for for a long time. You know, fitness, helping people. Um, it's, it's something that I love to do and, and, and I'm truly blessed to be here with you guys. And, and now I get to share like the business side of, of being a coach, which um, like Gabby mentioned me as an Emerald, you know, it's, it's like my thing, which I really enjoy doing as well. So I, I appreciate the opportunity to, uh, to teach you guys a little bit. Thank you. We appreciate you being here and dropping some knowledge. So glory to God. <laughs> thank you thank you so um so let's kind of go, go into it yeah emeralds emeralds rule right <laughs> wait real quick everybody sure. she, yeah was that melanie <laughs> yes. cool. go emeralds <laughs> no, no, she's all excited um make sure you guys take notes because this is gonna be a great call i mean amazing the leadership ladder is basically the new ranks like that's what we need to be focusing our energy on so just wanted to say that thank you yeah and, and gabby's absolutely right uh, let me try and see if i can share my screen here um if anyone on the call has gone past um coach right and you're at least an emerald um then you know that just because you have hit emerald you don't just start making the maximum an emerald can make Right? Can you guys see my screen? Can anyone just let me know? Because I can't see you guys. Yes. Okay, awesome. Um, so to kind of just break down a little bit of what, about what Gabby just mentioned, um, we're all really familiar with the ranks with, you know, Coach, Emerald, Ruby, Diamond, Star Diamond. Um, but, you know, just because you're, just, just because you're a, uh, an Emerald or maybe you're a Diamond, you know, that doesn't mean that the money just comes falling out of the sky. Um, you can have a rank, but not make the income associated with that rank. And, and learning and understanding the leadership ladder, what it does is that it gives you a better, um, kind of more accurate gauge of where you are in your business. Um, and so I'm going to try, this is kind of like my take on the leadership ladder, I'll, I'll show you how I see it, how to understand it, um, and how to use it to grow your business. Um, so like what exactly is the leadership ladder? So the leadership ladder is, it's basically a snapshot on how you're growing your business um, as a leader from month to month, right? And it's a really good idea to, to gauge your progress um, from month to month or even quarterly because you know we get paid weekly which is freaking awesome. But um, as you know, the, our results and how much we earn fluctuates. Um, it, it can fluctuate a lot from one week to the next. So looking at your business from a monthly or quarterly point of view gives you a better idea of where you are and, and it helps you track things on a more consistent or accurate basis. So where exactly do you find the leadership ladder? So when you go into your back office, um, there's a fourth tab there, um, and it's labeled Leadership Ladder. And I encourage everybody to go back in there and click everything. Like, you're not going to break anything. Just click everything, learn as much as you can. And so when you click the Leadership Ladder tab, it's going to give you a little breakdown of what the benchmarks are, um, where you currently stand on the Leadership Ladder, um, and what your next rung should be if you're looking to advance your business. So it shows you how much you've earned in commission. Um, and that's what the BP, I think, I th forgot what they call it, but I don't know if it's basis points, I forgot what it is, but because now we're, we're kind of international, they stopped using dollars and they started using BP. Bonus points, I think is what it's called. So bonus points is basically dollars. So last month, if you earned, eight, you, you can have earned $821. This month, you're on track to earn $513 in this example here. And it shows you what your next um, rung benchmarks should be if you're growing your business. And it does the same thing for all the other things you see here, for Success Club, for your rank. Um, how many coaches do you have with at least one Success Club point? And, and they want you to measure that because it's important to know who on your team is, is working, who on your team. Because they did studies that show coaches who earn at least one point are consistently growing their business um, 
at a, at a much better rate than coaches who don't earn at least one success club point. Okay. Um, and then weak leg volume, it helps you track your weak leg volume because the, your weak leg is the, the leg that helps you cycle. So if you have one leg with a ton of volume on it and you're not making team cycle bonus, it's because your weak leg hasn't caught up to the strong leg. So when you keep track of your weak leg, it gives you a good idea um, at, for, as to what you should be aiming for based on what your goals are, how much you want to earn. Um, and also your personally sponsored team leaders, how many you have on your team. And if you notice at the bottom, it has a little button that says click here. It gives you a little chart um, and it kind of breaks down what the leadership ladder is. You know, it gives you how much you should be earning at that level, your success club points, your rank, and all that stuff we just spoke about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just break this down and give you my take on it um, to help you understand it a little bit better so that you can, you know, accurately gauge where you are and where you want to be and actually how to, how to get to that point, right? So I'm going to kind of describe the activities, excuse me, associated with how to get from one rung to the next. And rung is just another word to say level. So business starter. A business starter is a coach, right? And as a coach, you earn at least $100 a month. Um, and now, you know, you're earning $100 a month. You can pay for your Shakeology. You can pay for your business fees, right? And you're hitting Success Club 5. Um, and what this does is that it really does set an example for your team or for your future team, right? Because this is really huge because you're now earning actual money, you know? And it's, it's rare to see any business start and, and be in the green their very first month, right? So this is one of those rare things that you can't really find in any other type of business. So, you know, earning $100 a month pays for your business fee um, and it, it shows that you're working, that you're growing and you're setting an example for the people who are going to join your team, okay? Um, now, how do, you, how do you do this? It's, it's really simple. It's nothing you haven't heard before. It's doing, now we have four, four vital behaviors. It's connecting with people on social media. It's inviting to your challenge group. It's doing a power hour. It's drinking your Shakeology and um, engaging in personal development, listening to the national wake-up call. So all these things compounded over time are going to help increase your income and, and grow your business. And so this is the first, the first rung it's, as a business starter. The next um, rung is a, is a team builder. And as a team builder, you are either an Emerald coach or a Ruby coach and you're earning $250 a month. So like I mentioned earlier, you can be an Emerald and not be earning 250 a month, right? So this is gonna give you a really good, um, like they call it a benchmark to, to see how and what you should be working on to earn and to get $250 each month. So you're still hitting success club, hitting success club five and even 10 or higher, right? And now you have two personally sponsored coaches, at least two, with at least one success club point each. So you're starting to um, show your team what you're doing. You're creating some kind of duplication on your team so they can emulate what you do. Um, and you also have a minimum of 200 TV, or team volume, on your week leg each month, right? So it, it's not just about you anymore, right? Um, as your team grows, you'll grow, right? And your level, on the, on, the, on the leadership ladder will grow. Your rank will grow. Um, so some of the activities associated with being an, an Emerald or a Ruby um, include enrolling in an Emerald to Diamond group or hosting a fit club or a clean eating group, right? Recognizing the coaches that you have in your team now and, and doing a power hour. Maybe you do it together, right? So the, the, the key things to understand um, about these activities that I'm going to be speaking about is that you don't just do um, the activities at that level, right? So let's say the next level is team leader. Team leaders are diamond coaches. You don't just do what diamond coaches do. You kind of build upon what you learned as a coach and as an emerald and as a ruby. So you add on the activities that got you to emerald and you use them to advance your business to diamond. So diamond coaches 
or team leaders, they earn about $1,000 a month, right? And they're still hitting success club. And we're noticing that that success club is, is the, the one constant thing here. It is a really accurate measure of success, but that's why it's called success club, right? And they do all these studies that show coaches who hit success club on a consistent basis earn, I don't know what the percentage is, but it's a crazy percentage of how much more income coaches who hit success club earn versus those who either don't hit it um, or hit it sporadically, right? So as a, as a team leader, you have at least four PS coaches who each have at least one point each month. And on your weak leg, you have about 5,000 TV um, on your weak leg. And, and it might sound like a lot, especially if you haven't hit that, that diamond rank yet. But believe me when I say um, that it happens, and it happens quickly. Because like, like everything here implies, it's, it's a team, team cycle bonus, team leader. You'll see that team volume grow quickly because it's, it's, it's a team effort. So it's not just you. Um, and it's important to keep that in mind when you advance in rank. Um, I feel like once you hit Emerald, even if you're signing up a spouse or a family member, it's no longer about you. Um, but that, that, plays a, that comes into play even more once you become a diamond or a team leader because now you have a team of, of other coaches who are looking up to you who are going to be emulating your activities and, and modeling what you do. So it's really important to be aware of how you're running your business because how you, how you run your business is going to be how they run their business. Because as we know, if, if anyone here is a parent, your kids don't do what you tell them to do, they do what you do, right? And as much as you say, hey, don't do this, they're going to run around, scream, yell, and cry, and just do whatever you end up doing. They're going to copy you is what they do. And the same thing is true for our coaches. So it's really important to, to make sure we're doing the activities that grow our business so that they, our, our, our team does the same thing. So what, what kind of activities are they? It's, it's um, enrolling, like I said, in an Emerald to, to Diamond groups. Maybe you're hosting these, um, these, these groups. You are, oh, let's see, I actually took notes here. Ah, here we go. So you're also supporting your downline team. And you can do that by hosting trainings. You can run coach basics. Um, doing things like what I'm doing now is hosting a team call, right? You can sit down with your coaches and set goals and figure out ways to, to work towards them. You can create videos and share content with them and you recognize your, your team, right? Effectively communicating with them and prioritizing your activities. It, it really does go a long way to um, not only setting the appropriate goals, um, but actually achieving them. So, so doing those activities is really important as a, as a leader to grow yourself and to grow your team. Um, the next rung is an organization leader. And the organization leaders are two-star diamonds or maybe between two to five star. Um, you're still hitting success club. And now you have six coaches who each have at least one point. So you have a, a team of six people at least who are actively engaged in the four vital behaviors. They are being proof that the products work. They're drinking their Shakeology. They're doing the workouts. They're inviting people every day. They're doing personal development. They're recognizing their team, their coaches, their, their peers on, on a job well done. And it could be anything from hitting success club to, hey, man, that was a really fantastic post. I noticed how you improved from, you know, two months ago because your posts, they used to suck. And now they're freaking awesome. Like, look at that. You have like 50 more likes. These little things of recognition really go a long way um, to help improve morale and, and boost someone's confidence. And it's these type of activities that are going to also grow your business, right? And who doesn't like to be recognized? It's really, really awesome. So as a two-star, as an organizational leader, you have a, you have a minimum of 15,000 TV or team volume on your weak leg. And, and these coaches are earning about $2,500 a month. Um, now, I don't know about you, but that's significant. To me, I could certainly use $2,500 each month, okay? And so what else do you do as an organizational, organization leader? You are working on your leadership skills because this really comes into play. If, if, it, if it wasn't about you as an emerald and it wasn't about you as a diamond, it's really, really certainly not about you at all anymore. You, you have a team of people who are looking up to you 
to guide them, to lead them, and to, to hold them accountable, right? Because it, this is real work. This is a real business. And it will reward you as such, but you have to engage in the activities that, that grow your business, right? You're hosting weekly calls. You're leading trainings. You're attending the New Leader Conference, right? So you, now you're raising the bar and you're setting really huge goals for your team to, to reach to and for yourself, right? You're looking to the future. Um, you might even be reviewing what five to 10 star diamond coaches are doing because you have these huge goals, right? You're creating an identity for yourself, for your team. You're creating a culture and, and you might even be working on some systems for duplication um, because you want to grow other orga organization leaders on your team, right? This is, this is when stuff starts to get real. You're going to start seeing significant success, significant increases in your income, right? So being accountable and doing these things is what's going to get you, not only get you there, but also keep you there and, and keep you growing. So growing to the, next, to the next rung, which is executive leader. Executive leaders are five-star diamond coaches, right? And they're still hitting success club. Like it's not just for, you know, top level. Co Everyone needs to be hitting success club, five to 10 or higher, right? Um, now you have eight coaches and eight coaches hitting at least one success club point is going to be really rewarding. You're going to see a lot of volume on your team. Um, and that's going to increase your income. You're going to see that these executive leaders have about 50,000 team volume points on their weak leg and they're earning $8,500 a month, right? They have four PS, uh, PS team leaders. So they have four diamond coaches at least on their team, right? And what are some of the activities that these executive leaders are doing? So they're still doing everything that organization leaders, team leaders, team builders, they're still doing all those activities, they're building on them. And now they're even delegating their tasks. They're hosting team activities, right? So it's not just trainings and such, but now they're, they're taking the teams out on a retreat or maybe they are hosting team meetings at Summit, which by the way, I hope every single person on this list, uh, on this uh, call is, is registered for Summit because it's one of these amazing um, events. This is, like the, this is like the Super Bowl. This is the World Series of, of for Beachbody coaches because you get so much value, you, get so, you learn so much. It is like a giant personal development weekend that fills your brain with, um, knowledge and, and not only that, but it shows you how to actually execute on that knowledge to grow and come back home and say, wow, like I am totally ready and prepared to take my business from here to like there, like all the way and beyond whatever you dreamed possible. So going to summit is going to be a, a game changer. I guarantee it. Um, you're also going to be attending other different uh, personal development seminars like, um, Gary Vaynerchuk might have a seminar. He's actually our, our speaker at Summit this year. Um, Danny Johnson might have one. Um, who else? John Maxwell, Jen Sincero. You, you do some research and you find out who you connect with and, and, and be a leader, right? And go out there and register yourself for these um, seminars because you know that they're good for you. You know that it's gonna improve you and your team. Right? You also get a chance to speak with corporate. As an executive leader, now you have that direct connection with corporate so that you can get the additional support that you need to help maintain and to continue to grow your business. Right? You, you've also become better at public speaking. I know when I first became a coach and someone asked me to do a call, I was shitting bricks, man. I, did not, I, was, I was shaking. My voice was like, oh, but, 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 but. I was stuttering. And, and, I just couldn't bring myself to, to calm down. It took me about 10 or 15 minutes, but eventually I got better at it. Eventually I wasn't as nervous, right? And, and it goes away and that comes with practice, right? So you're mastering public speaking. You're, you're mastering goal setting. You, you can shape and share a team culture and a team vision. So you, you really are stepping into your leadership role as an executive leader because you have so many people depending on you. Um, and you're, you're one of those people. You depend on yourself. And that's a really rewarding feeling. Um, so that's a team. Uh, sorry, that's an executive leader.
the next one is, I'm sure, like I always say, it's, a, it's, an, official, it's an official rank. They call it the super duper leader. Um, 15 star diamonds or higher. You can't get higher, but you know, uh, are, are hitting success club 10. Um, and it's not just them. Success club 10 is, is not reserved for 15 star diamonds. Like I have these awesome coaches on my team. I think I saw them on, on the call before I blocked my screen who are, who are hitting success club 10 their very first month. Right. Um, Estani is one of my, is one is on my team is one of my coaches and his wife, Daisy, fantastic people. And they came into this business guns blazing, hitting success club 10. They both earned success starters their very first month of the very first three months in a business. Like, you know, without knowing much about coaching or what I'm speaking about now, they just did what they do best. They do what they're great at. That's helping people. That's instinctively engaging in the three value behaviors. They work out, they drink Shakeology. They're really smart, intelligent people. They, they do personal development and it shows in their results, right? It's, it's not rocket science. It really isn't. And so if you do the activities that I'm, that I'm speaking about here, if you do what your coach says to do, if you follow the guidelines that Beachbody lays out for us, you'll, you'll see success. It, it really is that simple. So 15 star diamonds, they have 65 personally sponsored coaches, each with at least one success club point. They have a huge team of people who are working, who have been emulating them, who have been watching them. They look up to them and they copy their behavior. They have at least, 500,000 TV on their week leg each month. And that's a big number. $100,000 a month is huge. You know, I know a few people who barely make that a year, you know, and it's possible. I know some of these coaches personally, like I've, sp I've spoken to them and they earn $100,000 a month and it freaking blows my mind, right? But if you wrap your mind around the fact that they started right where you are, they did what you did and they just kept building on that, then you will quickly see that anything is possible. It really is. So $100,000 a month might seem like a big number to many of us. Throw that idea out the window and just be like, you know what? It's, it's a number just like any other number. It's the same activities. I can promise you they're not doing anything differently or extra that we're doing now. They're just being more consistent with everything I mentioned, right? So they have 15 team leaders, personally sponsored team leaders on their team, okay? So how do you actually use the leadership ladder? Uh, well, you see where you are now. You take a look at it. You, you go into the back office and, and, into the back office and you see where you are. Um, and then you, you figure out what you got to do, right? So what do you need to actually do or focus on to move to the next rung? Um, and this is the part where I say to actually write it out. This is, this is your call to action. List out, you know, where you are, where do you want to be, and how do you connect those two things? How do you connect your, your activities to your goals? What do you actually have to do, <clears throat> excuse me, what do you actually have to do to get to that next level? And you pick one area that you want to improve on um, for this particular month. And then you figure out what activities are going to help you reach the next rung on the leadership ladder. Okay, so this is the actual call to action. I want you to write these things out and send it to your upline coach. And they're gonna hold you accountable. And you're gonna see how this will change your business. If it doesn't happen by the end of the month, you'll see a significant increase in whatever it is you decided to, to measure, track, and improve on the following month. It's just the way it works. If you want to see growth in, area, in any area, measure it. You start measuring something and you, you track it and it's going to start improving. It's just the way things work. So, for example, let's say you're a team builder, right? You're a coach and you just started uh, your, your business and you want to focus on your income, right? Or you want to focus on your volume or your, or your coach's um, success club points. Whatever it is you want to focus on, you know you want to become a team leader. So let's say you want to focus on your income, right? And you're going to, you're going to do that by increasing the volume on your weak leg because we know that the weak leg is where or, or how we cycle because we may have, let's say, 1,000 or 5,000 or more um, volume points on our strong leg. And if we're not 
building the volume on a weak leg, we're not going to get team cycle bonus. So I want to increase my income. I want to increase my team cycle bonus. So my area of focus is my weak leg volume. So what do I have to do to increase that volume? I have to do the four vital behaviors. I have to recruit, right? These are the things that I can control. I can control who and how many people I invite every single day. I can control my personal goals for my team. I can, I can sit down with them. I can help them figure out what their goals are and how to help them achieve those goals, right? So these, these are the activities that I can control, and that's where I recommend you start. Start on what you have control over. So how many people do you invite? How many people do you recruit? Whether or not I engage in the four body behaviors. Here's a tip. You are engaging in the four body behaviors like every single day. You, you got to do it, okay? So now what? What do you got to do? What do you got to know? What do you got to learn? And what do you have to measure to make this stuff happen? Okay, let's see. I got to switch over to my, to my screen here so I can show you. Boom. Oh, perfect. It's here. All right, let's see. So you go into your back office and let me, let me go. So you go to the news and trainings tab and then you go down to training. And it takes you to this section in your back office. Um, which really just breaks down for you everything I just spoke about. So let's say that you are um, a coach. You just got started. You're a coach. You click coach, and it takes you to the business starter section, right? This is where basically Beachbody just lays out everything that you would ever need to know about how to start your business and how to grow your business and then also how to track your business, right? So I'm a coach, and, and they literally say, hey, you're a coach, do this. Like, it really is that simple. You see, do this. These are the activities in, that, that are going to get you success. You invite people to your challenge group. You're, you're doing personal development at least 10 minutes a day. You're enrolled in a coach basics program with your sponsor coach or maybe your upline diamond coach. You're listening to the wake-up call, right? And some of these activities – and, and it sounds pretty simple and self-explanatory, and that's just because it is. You know, you're sharing your before and after picture or your story on social media. You're following up with people that you meet, okay? So, so you do these activities, um, and, and you start seeing a, a change in your business. Um, know this. Okay, so these are the things you need to know as a coach. You need to know the four vital behaviors. And if you click it, boom, it's going to tell you exactly what they are. You know, and it lays it out in a pretty clear, you know, fashion. So it's easy to understand and easy to implement, okay? Um, you have to know your story. You have to know how to share it, right? You, you can practice. Most, most of us aren't used to consistently telling our story. So they're not wrong with practicing in front of the mirror. Like, honestly, just talk to yourself and tell yourself your story. Tell your, 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 your friend your story. Get, try and get that thing out as many times as possible to as many people as possible so that it becomes second nature. Um, it, 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 you're going to be telling your story for a very long time. And the more people who know your story, the better off you are, right? I'm sure you've seen a meme on, online that says, you know, work so hard until to the point where you don't have to introduce yourself anymore. You know, there's a lot of people out there who we know and we know them for a reason. We all know Sean T. We all know Madonna. We all know Carl Dykler because we know their story. They share it so many times, so often that we know something about them. We may not know everything, but we have a pretty good idea. And if nobody knows who you are, um, well then how, 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 how do you expect them to find you on social media? So sharing your story is one of those things that is really important. Um, and that's in the know this section learn how. How do you do these things? Oh, I suck at speaking. I don't know how to use social media. I can't effectively tell my story. Well, you go back here and it, and it literally breaks it down for you. It shows you how to enroll in your upline coaches group basics, like coach basics group. It shows you how to connect with people, right? How to build relationships. If you click that little PDF, it'll show you how to do that. It'll show you how to tell your story. It'll show you how to start a conversation with people, right? And it really it just comes down to you actually doing the work and, and practicing and, and talking to people, inviting. It teaches you how to earn an income, right? 
following your business activity tracker at the very least on a weekly basis. Even if you don't use this specific one, you need to track um, your activities so that you can, you know, figure out how um, you're succeeding or how you're not succeeding, right? If, if you didn't hit Success Club last month, um, why? Why not? Was it because you didn't invite enough? Was it because you didn't uh, follow up enough? Did you not uh, share enough on social media? So, you know, using this, this activity tracker will help you gauge what's working and what's not working. Right. So you can also use your power hour. That's, that's one of the things that we've been doing often um, as a group, but that you should be doing every single day. And it really just breaks down a list of the activities that you need to be engaging in every single day um, to help grow your business. So you can use that to, as a checklist to make sure that you do everything and all the activities that you need to do as a uh, successful coach. So this is all in the, in the learn how section. And once you do these things, once you know how to do these things and you learn how to, how to get better at them, then you can come here and you can uh, gauge your progress. So you say, I've done all these things. I learned all the material. I've engaged in, in the learning. I do all that stuff. Am I earning $100 each month as a coach? Do I hit success club five or higher as a coach? Coach is my rank. Is that my highest paid rank? Yes or no, all right? And, and this is how you gauge. This is where you come in the back office to gauge uh, your progress. So you'll see. And then once you start doing these things and you advance your business, let's say now you're an Emerald, you've done all these activities, right? This is important because you're just continuing coach activity. You continue to build on what we just did as a coach now that you're an Emerald or a Ruby. You know all these different things. You go back to the leadership, um, uh, the team builder benchmarks, and you say, okay, I've done all these extra activities. Am I earning $250 each month? Do I have at least two coaches worth at least one successful point? Do I have at least 200 team volume points on my week leg? So, so, and this is how you track. This is basically what the leadership ladder does for us. Um, it, it really just breaks down and gives us a more accurate interpretation of the ranks because I know for me and for many other coaches, once I hit diamond and star diamond, I was not earning $2,000 a week, right? As a, as a diamond, you can max out at $2,000 a week in team cycle bonus. But once I hit diamond, I promise you, that's not what happened, right? You need the volume. You need, you need to grow your team. You need to have all these activities be kind of second nature. You, you got to do these things um, so that your team grows, right? And, 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 and this is pretty much what it is. I, I hope this has been helpful. I think this is the end of my presentation. I don't have anything else on my slides. But yeah, this is it, guys. So if you have any questions, let me see how I can unshare my screen here. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have. I hope it's been helpful. Um, let me know. And I am here for you guys. Can you, can you see me? Can you hear me? Yep. Wow, that was amazing. Amazing, amazing. I'm a numbers kind of gal. Um, I think that my only issue is I get distracted by the shiny objects. No, but. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but figures, you know, numbers, that's my thing. So this speaks yeah. to my heart. Like, literally so this was amazing i hope everyone here uh took notes i took i should have just asked for your slides but i took notes <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah I'll, I'll send them to you guys that way you can have them and you can but this was great and i love how you know you showed us exactly where to find the activities for each rung uh so that we're not like what do i need to be doing activity wise so if anyone here has any question please Unmute Mommy. yourself and ask. Mommy. Not all at once. <laughs> Anybody going once, going twice? All right, so that means that everybody here is going to go snap a picture. This is the call to action. You guys are going to snap a picture of your, like Al said, of your rung. You're going to go to your leadership ladder. 
tab, you're going to take a picture of it. You're going to send it to your upline coach and you're going to attach the activities that you need in order to get to the next rung, right? And you're also going to go find the activities that need to happen from the actual uh, training tab uh, in your back office. So it's going to be very simple. And wherever you are right now, you know, obviously your goal is to get to the next rung and you're going to jot down those, um, those activities that need to happen. I was, I was wondering where you were at it. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, my child is, you know, has booger issues, and, of course, she had to put on Vicks <laughs> as the call was going. But, um, Al, thank you so much. This is the second time we have a call with you. And after, You're actually, welcome. the first time um, we had a call, you, it's, I think your, your line is, just go in and click. Just go in and click. Yeah. So that, I actually, I've been doing that a lot um, lately. And before, I, I used to, you know, um, send a message to Gabby or going to a group chat or like look and look and look in the group. I'm like, you know what? Stop. Go in and start clicking. And you do find uh, things. And I actually had looked at um, that leadership ladder before, but I didn't really understand mm -hmm. like all what all the tabs meant. So now it's a lot clearer. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. I'm, I'm yeah. glad I could help. And, and you're right. You know, and, and this kind of goes for everybody. Just go in there click, 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 click. You know, I, I, it's funny when I first became a coach, um, as we all do, I had a thousand questions and I would ask my upline, what is this? Where is that? How do I, and where do I? And I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to break anything. Let me exhaust all of my options. Let me Google it. Let me do you, let me use uh, YouTube. Let me ask another coach. Let me, you know, brainstorm with some of my other coach friends. Let me go look for it myself. Let's see what I can find. What can I come up with before I, um, not to say bother my upline coach, but really just it's not even about that it's about taking ownership and and being responsible for your own success because if i say hey where is such and such and they can't find it well now it's oh it's not it's their fault like no you have to be responsible for yourself this is your own you are an independent team beach body coach meaning you run your own business we're, we're here as a team but you know that small activity going there and then click 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 it goes way beyond you just clicking it really develops a habit and it develops um that sense of uh responsibility in yourself to to go out there and do something about your success right you're the only one responsible for, for your success and you're also the only one responsible for your failure so taking ownership it it, it, it just is everything it, it goes such a long way um but yeah and anyway, I'm, I'm really glad that it helped and 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 uh, I'll always do whatever I can. If you have questions, any of you guys, feel free to reach out to me either now or, or after if you can't think of anything now. Thank you all. Any, any hey, other questions? Hey. Matias might have some. Yeah. No, but if Gabby, <laughs> when he sends you the, the slides, just send them to us. I would like to keep them in my library. It's good to have them. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yep. You can send us over. I'll, yeah, I'll send them to you guys. That'd be great. Thank you so much. You're Anyone welcome. else? Any question? Go ahead. Awesome. How important is social media, you will say, um, in order for you to hit success club? Um, uh, I think that in this day and age, it's highly important. It's not 100% necessary. If you're, if you're awesome at going out and about, um, and speaking to people in person, if you have the time to do that, it certainly works. Um, I think that social media is just so much more effective because I can sit here and reach out to 100 people in 10 minutes, whereas you don't have that luxury in, in person. You can't, you, know, you can't just sit in, in Times Square and say, hey guys, I'm having a challenge group. You, got, like, you can't do that. It would be awesome because I'm in Times Square every day, um, but using social media, and not only using it, but using it effectively, using it the right way and understanding its nuances, how it works, what people like, what people don't like. It's, it, it's important to understand it. So if you are going to use it, which I recommend you do, you know, the internet is everything. The internet is, allows us, I can speak to somebody in China right now if I wanted to. I can't walk out on the street and do that. So the internet really does open up your business and your life to the world like literally the world it's the world wide web so how important is it it's very important 
without the internet, you and I cannot be talking right now. So you need social media, right? I speak to so many friends who I didn't speak to in the last 10 years because of Facebook. It connects people. And, and that's what we're in the business. We're in the people helping business. No people, no business. No social media. It's going to be tough to connect with your long lost relatives who live in another country. So it's very important. And it's important that you get good at it. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah. And just to add to that, um, like Al said, you know, we are an international company. I mean, we are in Canada and we are in Puerto Rico. And if you want to, and in all of the United States, it, you know, you live in one state and you work in another, so you'll have access to the people that you, that you come in contact with in those states, but you won't have access to other people in other states or other people in Canada or Puerto Rico. And if you are on social media, you will. So it's very important. And it's like I said, it's very important for you to get good at it. And everyone here. So um, any other questions? I have to also um, just emphasize on what Al said. If you notice, every single rung was about Success Club. And, you know, and obviously they put Success Club because that's one of the measurements, but that, that just means that you're helping a, a minimum of three people every month, right? And that just means that you are not going to um, increase your income if you are not hitting success club on a consistent basis, because if you're not bringing in customers or challengers or coaches, then how do you expect to grow your teams, right? How do you expect to grow your income? So that is like the common denominator. Success club is imp super important to grow your income, to grow your volume, to grow your team, to grow your business. So um, I thought that, I love that Al, you know, made sure that he emphasized on that. That is the common denominator. So if you're not hitting it consistently, you know, we urge you to go to the back office, look at your um, rung, and then look at the uh, leadership ladder activities that, that go alongside of those and make sure that you check yourself and be honest with yourself. Are you doing those behaviors on a daily basis? And the other common denominator was that four vital behavior, right? If you're not doing those on a consistent basis, then there's a disconnect, and that's why you're not hitting success club. Because if you're doing those four activities, then it's a natural thing for you to, it's going to happen naturally for you to hit success club. So, um, but yeah, if, you, if anyone here has any other questions, if not, we have four more minutes to let Al go for free. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I think this call was amazing. Uh, I actually, I, I'm going to go check myself and make sure that I am doing what I need to do for my next run. So I'm going to have to send my success partner. She holds me accountable. So I'm going to send her my activities to make sure that I'm doing sure all that I'm doing. I was actually just thinking that because I know exactly what I have to improve. And it's like, like one part. I'm like this close you know so yeah numbers gotta go up it's all about recruiting honestly that's right get it get it absolutely all right all right guys so um if anyone doesn't if no one else has any questions or any comments for al i'll thank you so much for hopping on on our call and giving us knowledge we will have you back because I know that you are great at another topic. So thank you so much for your time tonight. It is my pleasure. Thank you guys for, for listening and not falling asleep. I appreciate that. <laughs> thank uh, you. Knowledge. So thank you so much. My pleasure. Good night, everyone. Take care. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.